So consider this set of coupled first order linear differential equations. y1 dot is equal to y2, and y2 dot is equal to 2y1 plus y2. So how do we solve a differential equation like this? Something where the differential equations are coupled. Well, so first what we're going to do is we're actually going to rewrite this in a matrix form, which is going to help us out a lot. So to ready write it in matrix form, let's let y vector of t be y1 of t, y2 of t. Now, note that this really isn't a position vector in any sense. It's just a regular vector that we've written this way. So don't get confused with that. Also note that y1 vector or y vector dot is y1 dot y2 dot. The time derivative just goes right through. Okay. So then we can rewrite our differential equation above in a matrix form. So we had y1 dot is equal to y2, y2 dot is 2y1 plus y2. Let's rewrite that as y1 dot, y2 dot is equal to 0, 1, 2, 1 matrix times y1, y2. You can check that this gives the same differential equation, except now it's in a matrix form. Well, let's write that as y vector dot is equal to a times y vector. And this is kind of just a nice, more compact way of writing the same expression. OK, now that we've rewritten our differential equation, let's use the technique that we've done in solving differential equations of using the characteristic equation. So let's look at this for one differential equation. So let's say we have x dot is equal to 2x. Well, one way to solve this is to just make a guess. x of t is c e to the lambda t. So then plugging that into our differential equation, on the left we get lambda c e to the lambda t. On the right-hand side we get 2c e to the lambda t. So lambda is clearly 2, and our solution is then clearly c e to the 2t. Cool, so it's kind of a quick way of doing it. Uh, uh, instead of doing separation of variables in this case. So let's do the same thing here. Let's make a guess y vector of t is some constant vector y naught e to the lambda t. Again, this vector y naught here is just some constant vector that we're going to figure out later. So let's plug that in. On the left-hand side, we get lambda y naught e to the lambda t. On the right-hand side, we get a y naught e to the lambda t. We can cancel the e to the lambda t's, but we can't cancel the y naughts. So we're left over with a y naught is equal to lambda y naught. Hey, wait a second, I know this. This is the eigenvalue equation. So it looks like we're going to need to know something about eigenvalues in order to go any further. And in fact, that's our next step. So our next step for solving this differential equation is to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. So recall, we have an eigenvalue equation. We can rewrite that as the determinant of a minus lambda times the identity is equal to 0. So here we have a is 0, 1, 2, 1. So we're taking the determinant of minus lambda, 1, 2, and 1 minus lambda. And that must be equal to 0. Multiplying that out, we get lambda squared minus lambda minus 2. And we call this typically also the characteristic equation, which is kind of confusing. This is the eigenvalue characteristic equation. Solutions are lambda 1 is equal to minus 1, and lambda 2 is equal to 2. OK, so if we recall, our, our guess was that y goes like some vector times e to the lambda t. So it looks like our solution is y1 e to the minus t plus y2 e to the 2t. Our y1 and y2, those vectors, arbitrary vectors? Well, no, not completely. They're not completely arbitrary because they're eigenvectors of our matrix. And so to go further, we need to figure out what those eigenvectors are. So now that we have our eigenvalues, let's find our eigenvector. So lambda 1 is equal to minus 1. We can find our eigenvector by rewriting our eigenvalue equation. And we find that in order to solve the eigenvalue equation, b must be equal to minus a, or rather y1 could be something like 1 minus 1. Now it could also be times some arbitrary constant. And here we're actually going to write in that arbitrary constant that could be in there for our eigenvalue or eigenvector.
For the other eigenvalue, lambda 2 is equal to 2, we do the same thing. We need to find the eigenvector which solves this. So we write y2 as some a b. And we find that b must be 2a. Or rather, the eigenvector could look something like 1 times 2 times some other arbitrary constant. Let's call it c2. So now we have our solution. We can write it in terms of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So let's put it all together. We had our differential equation, which was y1 dot is equal to y2. y2 dot is 2y1 plus y2. And the solution to that is y vector of t is some arbitrary constant, 1 minus 1, e to the minus t, plus some other arbitrary constant, 1, 2, e to the 2t. It might make more sense to write this out in terms of its components for y1 of t, which is c1 e to the minus t, c2 e to the 2t, and y2 of t, which is minus c1 e to the minus t, plus 2 c2 e to the 2t. That looks more like what we expect for a solution to be. Now I want to point out that there's two arbitrary constants here, c1 and c2, which are coupled between the two solutions. And we have two unknown constants because it's a, we have two first order differential equations that we started with. So that's the basic technique for solving differential equations with matrices. And we'll see you in another video.